Hello, welcome. Take a moment and read the question and press play when you're ready. We'll go through all the parts together. Okay, so we're making a lot of assumptions here and um, yes, some parts of this oversimplify the tax process. However, the general idea is that if you start with $100,000 of your gross income, how can you find what you're going to actually bring home per month? How can you estimate it? And the idea is you take your gross income and subtract out your federal taxes. All right, FT for federal taxes, state taxes, social security taxes, and Medicare taxes. You subtract all those things, and then that's your yearly, divide it by 12 to get your monthly. So we have to do all of this stuff. So let's say what our, in the part A right here, when you say gross income per month, right? That's our income per month before taxes. So that's simply 100,000 divided by 12. And let's see what we get. So 100,000 divided by 12 is 8,333.3 repeating. So I'm not gonna round yet, right? It's just 0.33 repeating. And I guess I could have put just, oh boy, one line there, that vinculum, that line, that means repeat forever, boom. I'm putting two threes though, because we're dealing with money. All right, total of federal taxes per month. All right, so we're assuming a federal deduction of 12,000. I think the actual deduction right now is 12,200. The idea is that you have $100,000 in gross income, okay? Take $12,000 away, okay, that's 88,000 and use this table here to calculate what we're going to pay in taxes. Now, 88,000 falls within this marginal tax rate right here. So that just means that um, we're gonna pay 24% on all of the money that we have, our taxable income, excuse me, that fits in this bracket. How much do we have? Well, it's 88,000, our taxable income, that's this number right here, all right, TI. This is our standard deduction, is the amount that we're not going to be taxed on, and this is our gross income. So gross income minus standard deduction, that's your taxable income. So there's $88,000, but we subtract 84,200 to find out how much we're being taxed at 24%. So this times 24%, 0.24. Why did I do that? Well, look at these brackets right here. Uh, at this point, the top part of the last bracket right here is 84,200, that's the number I'm using. So all the money I have over 84,200 will actually fit in this bracket here. Now they estimate the table, they say 84,201, so it kind of skips a little bit of change in between those two brackets. But the idea is that everything I have over 84,200 up to my, my taxable income, I'm going to pay 24% on that amount. But there's more. We now, we'll drag this down, boom we have money that is going to also be taxed at 22%. So how much money do we have? Well, our money will fill up all of these brackets here up to the 24% bracket. So I'm gonna also say that everything I have here is gonna go up to 84,200 minus the top part of the last bracket, 39,475. All the money I have in that range is gonna be taxed at 22%. And then I repeat the process. All of the money I have that fills up this bracket, where it'll fill up the whole thing because I have enough money to go past this marginal bracket right here. All of that money, which is 39,475 minus 9,700, that'll be taxed at 12%. And then finally, our last bracket, where the rest of the money that we have left over that hasn't been taxed yet, it's gonna be taxed at 10%. So that's just 9,700. It's minus zero, it's just 9,700 times 0.1. It's gonna be 970, but I want you to see how this works. So all these pieces, boom, boom, boom. We're gonna add them all up, and that sum will be our federal tax. So let's calculate this. So I like to do this all at once and not piece by piece. So let's just do that. 88,000 minus 84,200 times 0.24 plus 84,200 minus 39,475 times 0.22, so I've done these first two lines, plus 39,475 minus 9,700 times 0.12 
plus 970. That's just 10% of 9,700. You just take one zero away or move your decimal over, it's 970. And we get, there it is, 15294.5. So 15294.5. That's what you're paying per year, right? Per year in federal taxes. So that's our yearly federal tax. So now to get the number that you put in here, we divide it by 12. So it's going to be on the calculator, you just hit divide our previous answer by 12. So per month, we're paying 1274.5. Um, five four one six repeating so twelve seventy four point five four one six repeating so about twelve hundred seventy four dollars and fifty four cents all right and then we go to our next part here deal with our state taxes so we're assuming an eight thousand dollar deduction so a hundred thousand dollars that's our gross income minus our deduction eight thousand gives us a taxable income of $92,000. And our table that falls in this bracket right here, it's between these two numbers. Look at the table, it says your amount is over, but not over, so it's over 80,000, but not over 215,000, it's between. We're gonna pay 4793, so our taxes will be 4793, plus it says 6.57%, 0657. These quotation marks mean repeat what's above, which is of the excess over. So of all the taxable income you have over, 80650 So that's just going to be 100000 oh, excuse me, 92000 your taxable income, minus 80650 And this will be our New York state tax per year. So let's calculate that. So we get 4793 plus... 0 0.0657 times 92,000 minus 8650. And that's 5538.695. So 5538.695, and then that divided by 12 is 461. Point, okay, now I'm going to want to round because. Uh, now there's no indication in this question of when to round or not to round, so we can choose. I'm going to round to the nearest cent. And in general, I will do that. I was just holding off to round, but here I don't want to write all that out. Is that wrong? Maybe. 461.56. So 461.56. All right, we're getting there. Let's go to part D. Total Medicare taxes per month. That's 1.45% of your gross income. So. Gross income, that goes back to $100,000, no deductions, times 0 0.0145. And that will get us, let's see, 100,000. So 10 to the fifth is 100,000 times 0 0.0145. And that is 1450. That's per year. Okay, what about per month? Divided by 12, and we get 120.83 repeating. 120.83 repeating. And then we have Social Security. It's 6.2% of your gross earnings up to 132,900. So our gross earnings are below 132,000. So we just take that number and multiply it by 0 0.062. And we get 10 to the fifth, 100,000, 10 times 10 times 10, times 10 times 10, times 0 0.01. Oops, not one, six two percent. And that's six thousand uh, six thousand two hundred. Which we could have done nicely in our head. I'm just I think I'm getting tired. And then that divided by twelve. And we get five sixteen point six repeating. So five sixteen point six repeating. Now in the end it went total monthly income after taxes. So we just put these pieces together. Right? So uh, in our case, right here, to figure out what you're getting each month, if we go back to our thinking, it's your gross income, everything you're making, minus all these amounts, right? All these different taxes, and then that divided by 12. So you, another way to do it, since we've already kind of done the calculations, we've taken a twelfth of everything, our twelfth of our gross income, a twelfth of our federal taxes, a twelfth of our state taxes, 
a twelfth of our what was next? Social Security, no, Medicare taxes. Medicare taxes. And the twelfth of our Social Security taxes. We've done all that already. It's just the distributed property. We're distributing the twelve division of twelve to each part instead of doing it at the end. So long story short, let's go back and just and this is why I love spreadsheets and not this problem. Um, spreadsheets would organize this nicely for us. If we just take these numbers, we start by taking our gross income. Okay, so that's 833.3 repeating. Well, I'll add a couple of threes there. Okay, that's our gross income per month minus our federal taxes per month. 1274.5416 repeating. Okay, minus, let's go to our state taxes per month. Uh, 461.56 minus, let's go to <clears throat> our Medicare, 120.83 repeating, minus 516.6 repeating. And we get, something's wrong, 5,959. Oh no, wait, that's our, gr that's our, excuse me, that's our monthly gross income, what we're bringing. I was thinking yearly for a second. So if we scroll down, so it's 595973. So 595973. Now here it's often good to think, well, out of, you know, what what did I essentially just, what just happened? I, I started with about 8,000 and now I'm down to about uh, 5,900. Right, so what percentage did I just lose right there of my income? So five nine five nine. We're gonna approximate this eight three three three. So we still have about seventy one percent of our income left. So we lost about twenty nine percent of our income in this tax process. Now this is a rough estimate, right? There are many other elements that go to taxes that can help, but if we just calculate this from our income with these four components. Look at what happens. It's very interesting. All right. I hope that helped.